Premier, I know you've seen a lot and heard a lot today. Can you share with us perhaps the, the moment that's had the most impact on you and, and, and what you've seen today? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to pick because this has really been a devastating event and, and a very distressing uh, uh, event for, well, all Albertans, quite frankly, but especially the people of Fort McMurray. It's, it's a very, very powerful and damaging uh, fire. It was quite overwhelming to see the size and the breadth of it. And, uh, you know, our hearts go out to the people of Fort McMurray and they need to know that, that all Albertans are with them. What's the, the greatest need that those trying to fight the fire have told you that they have right now? What do they need? Well, I think probably in terms of those who are fighting the fire, what they need is for the winds to stop and the temperature to go down. Uh, I mean, really, at this point, that is the single biggest thing that's impacting how this fire proceeds. Uh, you know, we, we've got we've gotten offers from across the province and across the country for firefighting uh, support, both uh, in terms of materials as well as people. But but the fact of the matter is, is when the fire gets to a certain uh, level of heat, you can't have people fighting uh, the fire and and. You you can only have so many um, uh, planes and helicopters in the air at one time. So uh, what we need is, is certainly for relief for some of our incredibly hard-working firefighters. And, uh, and then we need that weather, the weather to change. Some remarkable stories coming out about how people are reaching out to help others. Uh, the, you know, we're, we're seeing it across the country in terms of concern, but especially in Alberta where people have been reaching out, offering their homes, offering anything they can to help those people. It's, it's been amazing. I mean, you know, Albertans are resilient people and we've been through several very serious disasters before and and, uh, and we're very good at reaching out to help each other. Uh, just today at, at the reception center, you know, one of the key volunteers himself was telling me about how he's pretty sure he's lost his house. But, uh, you know, his family was safe, so he was coming to, to work to, to support other evacuees. And, and it's that kind of story across uh, this community and, and across the province. And uh, um, I just want to thank all Albertans who've been reaching out and remind everybody that uh, that uh, if they want to help in the most immediate sense that they should be donating to the Red Cross. You know, there are 80,000 people have, uh, have left Port McMurray and they're either north or they're south. Some of them have reached areas where they're, they're watching television and they're listening to radio for the latest updates. You have their attention right now. What, what do you say to them about the future of their city and the future of their homes? Well, you know, we, we, we don't have the complete answers about the future of their homes at this point, but what we can say is that the people of Alberta and the government of Alberta will stand with them. And uh, as, we, as we work through getting this fire under control, and then as we go through the, the long recovery process, our government will stand with them to rebuild their community, to work beside them as they rebuild their lives, because um, that's what we do in Alberta. And I know that many, that all Albertans, quite frankly, will join us in in that task because um, uh, we just have to come together and, and so uh, we will get through this in the meantime uh, our hearts are, are deeply and genuinely with you because this is a, a very 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 distressing time. Premier we uh, do appreciate your time on a, an incredible day in your province. Thank you so much. Thank you.